what is going on everyone back with another one just one this isn't a review this isn't hey go out and buy this lens this is more so just showing you why i bought this lens why this has been my primary lens pretty much for anything that i any shoot that i usually do this probably will be the first lens that i grab first and then so my other lenses will be like the backups and the secondaries, but this is the Sony 35 millimeter F 1.8. And if you've seen any of my videos on here, um, if you've seen some of my work on my website, um, if you've seen some of my work on here, pretty much the, this lens has been in play at some point. I pretty much shoot all my videos with especially like all my YouTube videos, I definitely use the 35 millimeter lens all the time. Uh, just from the size, and we'll go down a little, my little list, but just from the size of it, it's nice and compact. It's not too heavy. There's a 35 millimeter 1.4 G master lens, which is, it looks like a Canon. Mind you, it's awesome, awesome image quality. I was honestly gonna, gonna get that one first, but that price point was a little crazy. And I was like, I can't do it. And then I don't know how I came across um, the, the 1.8. And between the 1.4 and the 1.8, there wasn't too much of a difference. Um, you really got to get in tight with the shots and really, really have the eye and know, okay, what am I supposed to be looking for to really see the difference? And I went with the 35 millimeter 1.8. And I've been more than satisfied for the type of work that I do, uh, for the quality I was looking for, it definitely delivered. One of the biggest things was mobility. I needed something that, okay, I can get high quality images, but I can toss it in a camera bag, a small camera bag, like a messenger bag, and it'll be okay. I didn't need something too, too heavy to where by the time I'm holding it for 10 minutes like this, you know what I mean? If I'm doing any sort of like running gun, it's already like feeling, it's like weighing down on my arms. Cause some of the lenses, and I've seen some like, 70 to, 70 to 200 lenses, or even like some 35 millimeter lenses I've held. It's just a chunky lens. And then the A7S III isn't light either. Like it's a very, when you hold this body, it's a very sturdy, sturdy body. Like I like it, you know, it's metal, not so much plastic. It's just a very sturdy body. So by itself, the A7S III is already pretty heavy. And then any lens that you put onto it, you're gonna really feel the difference in the weight. And slapping on the 35, it's just enough weight to where, okay, you can handle it, you can hold it for a good amount of time and your shoulders won't be on fire, right? And I work out and my shoulders still be on fire, right? But it's all good. And also I use a gimbal, um, the so let's see the Sony, the Ronin, the Ronin SC. And one of the concerns that I had was like, okay, with this weight, with this setup, can it handle, can the payload handle it? And honestly, it does just fine. Like I've used the Ronin in some crazy situations and try to do some crazy little angles with it, crazy movements. And it's worked out, excuse me guys, we keeping it rough. I got an itch, I'm not gonna edit it out. But um, yeah, the Ronin handles it well. You know, the payload is, is fine for it. So, and then like I said, the mobility, you can just grab it, boom, go, do your shoots. You can put it in your messenger bag, put it in your camera bag, and you're fine. The quality of the images, number one, you're getting that 1.8 f-stop. So you're gonna get the nice blurred background. I'm shooting on the, obviously, this the camera's right here. So I'm shooting on the GoPro 10, but I'll probably put some of my older videos on here that you can really see like, okay, that blurred background looks nice. It, it's great image quality. The colors look good. Once you grade it, it looks incredible. And especially with like the, the new Sony profile pictures with that s Cinetone, right out of the body. I mean, the, the image quality just looks it looks really, really, really good. And then it's versatile. So whether you're doing it for your YouTube content, you're doing portraits, I, I've seen it in action at wedding photography, wedding videography, um, real estate. I mean, it's such a versatile lens because the focal range, it's not too tight and it's not too too wide where it looks distorted it makes your the people in the image look distorted it's just a nice sweet spot 
I know a lot of people who like the 50 millimeter, which is fine, which is great too. And I have the 50 millimeter as well. I don't use it as much as before. Once I got the 35, I was pretty much like the 50 doesn't come out too often, but the 50 was one of the first lenses I got, you know, it was just one of the first, mostly, most of the time they always recommend get the, the 50, the nifty 50, and I was loving it. And it can yield a great image quality. You just have to stand real far away if you want to get like some full body shots and depending on how much of the image or whatever you're shooting you want in the shot. With the 35, once I got that, it was just enough. It was the good, good middle ground, right? And I have like the 18, uh, 18 millimeter, and I use that for mainly like landscape and things like that. When I want to get the whole shot, I really want to pull somebody in. But the 35, it's a good focal range if I'm doing like portrait work or if I want to do maybe like some talking head pieces and things like that. It's a nice focal range for me to where it has that intimate kind of feel to it, but not too too tight right it's a it's a nice it's a nice middle ground and then the price point wasn't too bad either i got this for i think it was how much did this go for i think it was like 700 um it came up to and the g master 35 1.4 it's double that minimum if you buy it used so it was definitely the price point worked out for me. I've been happy with it. And then it's like a nice sturdy build quality. You know, it's not too much plastic on it. You feel that metal and it feels good. And honestly, like I said, if there was probably one lens that I usually grab, if I had to grab one lens, it would be this guy right over here. It would be the, the 35 and it's been working great. So if you're looking for a new lens, a new prime lens, I would definitely, definitely, I think everybody should have the 35 in their arsenal um regardless of what type of photography or videography that you're doing i think yeah grabbing that that 35 you'll definitely definitely be happy with it you'll get some good quality out of it so let me get out of here another video on the way as always i'm gonna sound like a youtuber real quick i need you guys to hit that subscribe button i need you guys to hit that like button we're trying to grow this thing i see i see the love on certain videos so let's keep this thing going i appreciate you guys always Let's let's knock it out. Till the next one. Peace.